Hello. Today I'd like to present Leonardo da Vinci's proof of the Pythagorean theorem. I think you all remember that if you have a right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals the hypotenuse c squared. So here we have two congruent triangles and they're just mirror images of one another. So we're going to show the way Leonardo did that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, the first thing uh, he did was to draw a square uh, adjacent to each side of the triangle. So we have a squared, b squared, and c squared. So we're trying to prove that this area plus this area equals this area. Now what he did was to take two triangles that are congruent with the triangle in question, and he placed one of them over here with the hypotenuse facing the side, and the other two, and the other one over here with the hypotenuse on the outside and the short side with this one and the longer side there. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we've placed one triangle here and one here, just the way Leonardo did. And what he tried to show was that this area, including the triangle in the center, is equal to this area. And I think you can see that these two areas, they have a common triangle in the center. But if you could prove that this area equals this area, you've essentially proved that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, because both figures have two triangles in common, two congruent triangles. So this is one with these two triangles, and this one is the other with these two triangles. All right, so let's go on. All right, we're going to take this figure and break it into two, two different ways. One, we're going to take out this part. And the other, we're going to take out this part. All right, so our goal is to show that this area is equal to this area. Okay, so we have the two areas. Remember, that they, they had this common triangle. Okay. All right, so we're going to take this triangle and see if we can show that it is equal. Uh, we're, I'm sorry, this hexagon and show that it's equal in area to this hexagon. All right, so let's take the c squared hexagon and draw a diagonal and cut it in half. And these are the two halves. We can flip one of them over and we can show that those two halves are actually identical. <coughs> and now we're going to see if we can match that, the two halves of the hexagon into the a squared plus b squared hexagon. So here's the a squared plus b squared hexagon. So we have the two halves of the c squared hexagon, and we're going to flip this one over and put them together. As they get together, and then we put them together, you can see it's a perfect fit. And so the a squared plus b squared hexagon that has the two triangles in it is equal to the c squared hexagon that has the same two triangles in it. And since the two triangles in each figure are uh, of equal area, uh, a squared plus b squared must equal c squared. So it's one of the many, many uh, proofs of the Pythagorean theorem. But uh, Leonardo shows his uh, versatility of not only being a great artist, an architect, an anatomist. He was also a pretty good mathematician. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you understand it. And thank you for your attention. I'll see you next time.